wearing no jacket today. It's like it's almost warm. It's funny. It's going to be a good one. Things are drying. I just don't know if they're drying fast enough. The ground's still wet on top here. So um, I got a little, little roundup to spray here this morning. Mostly I want to get this tank empty so we can get it out of here. It would be nice to be able to use the gator to go pick up some rocks and stuff here this spring. And um, we don't really need the sprayer in here for a while. Dad used it to spray some stuff where he's got to plant all those flowers or where he has been planting all those flowers. So that's why it's in there, but now we need to get it empty so we can get it out. Okay, well I got done spraying what we needed to. I didn't take that out of there yet, but uh, it's just about empty. So, uh, Dad just called me. He took our old red Chevy truck and was um, watering the flowers that he's been planting. And he was getting ready to leave and he said the truck overheated. <laughs> so, he needs a ride. So I'm gonna go pick him up. We are actually headed to Berkey to go spray the wheat down there. So I don't know if we'll head straight there or what, but Let's go do some field work. Nothing like the neighbor filling his drill over there to make you fired up. I don't know if he's actually going to a field or just getting ready to go to a field, but dang it. We're too wet. We're too wet. We can't do it today. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Bummer. We've made it to Berkey, and I wanted to look at one of the bean fields here to see if it is um, dry enough to spray these have to get sprayed before they come up and we need the sprayer back at Waldron and they need to get done but it's sort of gooey here I don't think it's dry enough the wheat will be fine there's our bean just putting that root down these were planted uh, a week ago 29th, 30th, it was Thursday before it started raining. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Maybe tomorrow you can spray it. <laughs> All right, he's gonna fire up the sprayer. We're gonna walk out here and look at the wheat field just a touch. Um, we can get through the wheat much quicker, wetter, if you wanna call it that, than we can the bean fields or the corn fields for a couple of reasons. One, the wheat was no-tilled. Right, we planted it straight into bean stubble, which means that those fields have not been tilled at all for a year. And the bean ground, you know, where we planted the wheat, it was disked. So we have not done any deep tillage on these fields um, for really two and a half years since before the last time it was corn. That was a long time ago. That means the ground is fairly firm, um, and we don't have, uh, uh, you know, loss loose squishy dirt plus we have an actively growing crop like the sweet is still small but it is a growing crop that is sucking moisture out of the ground it's of it's it's using that water to grow and so it helps firm everything up as well you've kind of got sod it's kind of like walking through grass you know where you've got um uh, uh a good root system and stuff in the ground to help hold that sprayer up so uh, this is fine. We will now no problem out here, but let's take a look at the wheat while we're here It's definitely growing and Getting bigger you can see we've got a little bit of burn on them leaf tips That's probably from the nitrogen we sprayed last week That's not ideal. We don't like to see that um, but it's very minimal and the nozzles that we use kind of keep that from hitting the wheat as much and gets more to the ground versus a broadcast flat fan that would um, totally coat the plant and you'd have a lot more burn. So um, you can see we've got a dandelion here. There's a few of them. That's what we're spraying today is the herbicide to try and kill any of the weeds that are out here. I'm trying to get a plant to pull it up. I believe this is a wheat plant. This is um, from one seed. And you can see we have several stems, main stems. Uh, those are the tillers, or maybe one main stem and then the tillers from there. But each one of those will put a head on. Um, we are jointed. 
meaning that it's a segmented stem right there's a joint so yeah that's good um, this will keep stretching out getting taller in another week or two there will be a um, what we call a flag leaf come up the, out the top I doubt I doubt this next leaf out is the flag leaf but it's not too far behind but we got a lot of heights to get yet uh, and then the heads are starting to form down in there too so yeah Weed control is the name of the game today for the most part. We got some foliar stuff we're going to put in on a couple of strips or a couple of fields, I guess. And um, we'll see if that stuff makes any difference. But for the most part, the wheat looks really good. I just took my knife and split that plant apart. And if you look really closely, you'll see how the bottom, oh, if I can hold this right, the bottom of that stem there is hollow inside. That's the joint. And then right there at the tip of my um, thumbnail is the, 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 the top joint segment and point in the uh, plant and then if you look really closely above that you can actually see the head. I kind of cut it apart right there sticking up so that'll keep growing all the way up through the top of the plant that's where the kernels grow alright we gotta get him loaded up uh, get our pump out, we got water in these tanks they are full, collecting rainwater off the roof and uh, this pile of chemicals is what we're spraying today. Uh, MCPA, it's, uh, it's a 2,4-D derivative, controls broad leaves. And then we've got some that source that we're going to try on some of this as well. We're loaded. We put our, uh, our chemical in the MCPA, 10 gallons, into 106 acres. So we're going to spray at a good rate of uh, 10 gallons of the acre of carrier water. We need 1,060 in our tank total. We gotta switch nozzles back from the uh, stream jets that we used for nitrogen, so we're gonna get through them unfolded. Don't worry, it's dry enough. It's, um, it's a touch muddy out here, oh gosh. There's water in some of the sprayer tracks from when he was here earlier in the week and already made the ruts, but most of it's not too bad. So I just thought I would stand up here and show you guys the views a little bit. So we are doing something a little bit different out here. Well, kind of a little bit different, but we have a trial that we're getting ready to spray right now. Um, so this tank load here is just the MCPA, just the herbicide. But we just left a couple of strips over there, one round, and we're going to leave at least a round over here, these next strips, and we're going to add in our source product there. from its root system in order to feed the microbes that are growing right around those roots of the plant. Those microbes in turn break phosphorus down in the soil, takes the unavailable phosphorus, turns it into a plant available form, and it also fixes atmospheric nitrogen providing it to the plants. I don't know. I don't know how well it works, but it's something that we're testing. I used it on soybeans last year and saw a two and a half bushel return. That's enough for me to say, yeah, we need to test this some more. So we are testing it some more this year. Definitely gonna have to wash the sprayer here. So we already sprayed around the outside so you can see the nozzles turning on as we cross into what hasn't been and now the whole moon is on. Dad likes to round corners sometimes. I missed it. Power ladder. Anyway, time to refill. So we are uh, measuring out our source here. 
this is enough for 80 acres of the Source DC at a half rate. We're mixing two different products at a half rate each. That's what they told me they wanted me to do. So we've got 40 ounces. We're going to put this in, and then we'll measure out our other stuff. This one's definitely different. Use rate an ounce and a quarter, so we need 125 here. Chug cleaners. Super awesome. I'm gonna get dad's display set up here with the um, added products that we were putting in. What do I call this? Is this a fertilizer? Where do I have the source in here? Hmm. No, not in there. We'll find it. Growth regulator? That makes sense. Nope, not there. All right, source SC and source DC. So I'm gonna let dad do the spray in here. <coughs> I don't need to ride with him anymore. I think I'm gonna probably head back because, well, he can finish this on his own and doesn't need me here. All right, there he goes. Uh, he's just got one more load to do after this one. So we have made the decision to drive the sprayer back today. Uh, we do still have to spray all the beans down here, but it's not dry enough. It's not gonna be dry enough between now and Sunday. And we have to get the wheat sprayed at Waldron with the nitrogen up there before it rains on Sunday. So the sprayer's going back. We'll come back down here and spray the beans when we can. If they start cracking through the ground and they're coming up before we get to pre-emerge on, we'll switch chemicals. Because uh, the Tendovo, the chemical that we're using, has to be put on pre-emerge and can't put it on the beans once they're through the ground. And um, you know, if we can't get it done, then we will uh, we'll shift gears and do something different. And it is what it is. All right finally made it back. I took a few detours and made a couple of stops on the way, but that's okay. Um, I have somebody coming to pick up some seed. I got one of the two customer stuff that's still down in my seed warehouse. He's going to come and pick it up here in about a half hour, I think. And then we're going to go do our annual or our annual, our daily crop check. The little pallet that was there is gone. So um, that seed there is the only stuff in here that's spoken for that's not ours. I do have somebody I gotta go see. I've got, I've, everybody's got that one customer that waits to the last minute to buy stuff. I've got that customer and I gotta go find him today and see what he wants out of those two piles, hopefully. So I think I'm gonna go run and do that and then we'll go drive around and we'll see if we've got any corn coming up yet. That's what we're wanting to see today, corn coming out of the ground grab my thermometer so we can see if the ground's up to 70 degrees yet it's got to be warm it's about 70 air temp out right now so it's uh it's nice it's growing it's got to be growing it has to be good news we sold something um make sure you go over to farm focus grab yourself a borderview farms hoodie although it's getting warm out maybe you don't want a borderview farms hoodie because you're not gonna wear it until i don't know september october November. I don't know. No worries, because you know why? They also have Borderby Farms t-shirts over there at Farm Focus. Whatever you want, take your pick. But go buy some. Thank you. I don't know if going to look at fields is going to happen. Dad got back and he wanted to come and get the um, truck that was stranded this morning from overheating he's gonna try and drive it home now that it's cooled down we'll see how that works anyway it's 5 30 now so we'll go back and uh all the boys are home maybe i'll go grab one see if they want to go look at fields with me looks like dad's gonna wash the sprayer off a little bit we're gonna go uh see if the boys want to go look at some corn with me and we're gonna go check a couple fields real quick and then well, he's got the baseball stuff out. I think they want to play some baseball tonight. All right, Brayson, are you ready? Oh, that was, you hit it, but that was not a good swing. <laughs> Let's try again. Elbow back, your back elbow up. Elbow up. You get your feet, get your foot, foot forward a little bit. Towards me. There you go. Okay, you ready? Yeah! Good job. Okay, Rylan's turn. You ready? Hands together, elbow up. Yeah! Um, sure. The whole family's gonna go check some cornfields. Let's go. I'm making Ryland drive us because I'm holding the baby. 
as if this dies, we're gonna need a four seater gator. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, just stay in the grass. Like the one. Like and then we're gonna go down camo, the long. Camo, camo. Go camo one. You want no, a camo one? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, camo, so we can go hunting. What did you want everybody to see, Brayson? Ohio State Jersey. Ohio State Jersey. Go too fast here, Why? Yeah. All right, we have found our cornfield. So they were back in the same one we were in yesterday. This is the first field of corn we planted. April 12. It is not April Fool's Day. Today is today is May 5th. All right. We'll get out here and see if we can find anything. Everybody wants to dig, so we're going to have to take our turns here. Yeah, you're right. I don't see anything poking through yet. Oh, yeah, I do. Ooh. Yeah, right there it is. Good job, bud. It's close. It's not there yet. We're going to have to come back tomorrow. Sometimes when you peel back just the top of the clods or where you see it... Uh, you can get it out. It's okay. No, nothing poking through yet. Tomorrow. Look at it. Oh, yep. Good job. Right there, I just uncovered one. There should be one. Daddy, I want to put the feet further down. Somewhere in here. I did. Yeah, right there. Oh, is that Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Okay, Dad, can I push this thing farther down and do one in there? No, we'll just leave it right there. Dad, it's too far down. You keep digging. Okay. Can I? This uh, poker isn't exactly ideal. Could I do it with the screwer? Oh, right there. I mean, it looks good. I'm happy with it. Just careful. That's just a, that's a sharp. Can I hear it? All right, Brayson. You got to keep digging these this way. I found it. That's a weed. That's not a row. Oh. Right there. Oh, I see it. Don't don't pull it. Don't pull it. Got to dig it out if you want to get it out. Ooh, that one's in there deep. That's a good one. No. Right there. It has a root. It does. A very long one. And a shoot. It's almost to the surface. Maybe tomorrow. Soil temp up to 72 today. Sunshine, it's miracles. Uh, I think we're good. I think it's time to go back home. You want to do one more? Okay. Yeah. You can see we still got spots like that. It's just not dry enough to do anything. I was really hoping to work this tonight, plant the plot tomorrow, but we're not there yet. And I know it's dry on top and it looks like it would go there, but it's just gooey underneath. When you still got wet spots on top like that, we're not there. Um, maybe Sunday, if it's not raining, we can get this work down. Maybe we can plant some other stuff on Sunday, but not going to happen tomorrow. Uh, Dad is going to try and spray the rest of the wheat up here. We've got to do the second shot of nitrogen up here. He had done the herbicide already, but we hadn't put the second shot of nitrogen on yet. So he's going to work on that tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow is Anna's graduation. So we are all uh, taking off for that tomorrow afternoon and headed to uh, East Lansing. And uh, yeah, congratulations to my sister Anna graduating from Michigan State with a uh, bachelor's degree from college, Michigan State. So she doesn't go to college anymore? Nope, she's all done with a uh, bachelor's degree in horticulture was her major. So she's uh, got an exciting job lined up, moving to Iowa here in a few weeks, and uh, we're Why? excited for her proud of her. So. Well, that's just what happens when you grow up. We're letting Brayson drive now. You're doing a great job, bud. Now they want the go-kart. So, anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, if I'm, I'm going to help Dad spray in the morning a little bit stuff, I'll probably begin to make a video kind of thing. Um, 
and then if we're working Sunday, we'll just combine a couple, put them all together. We'll see how things go. So, like I said, have a great weekend. Like, subscribe. Go check out your uh, Waterby Farms merchandise, and uh, we'll see you next week. One more thing before I let you guys go tonight. I uh, forgot I was going to mention this earlier, but uh, a while ago I started some Agronomy Live videos. Um, I did one on pre-planning -plan stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and do another one this weekend. We're going to do some stand uh, emergence establishment, stand count kind of stuff, assuming that our corn is actually coming out of the ground. It's a little early for stand counts, but we can do emergence evaluations and stuff. So um, we'll keep an eye on stuff, probably looking at Sunday afternoon, assuming it's not raining. So just keep an eye out for that.